Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the while loop. In the last tutorial, we discussed about the default loops that exist in PostgreSQL. So, in this tutorial, we will continue about uh, the while loops. So, we all have uh, heard about the basic loops that exist in PostgreSQL. That is the default loop, the while loop, the for loop that we will cover in the next tutorial. So, what is a while loop? While loop is nothing. It is basically a uh, loop that uh, executes a block of statement the statements until uh, a condition it executes to false for example if i have a number that is uh, suppose i have to input a number that is less than 10 so i input a number that is 7 so it checks while 7 is less than 10 the condition is absolutely true it executes the block of code that exists in the while loop so for, for the next time it increments the value turns it to 8 then checks again is true and again executes again checks 9 and again checks 10 it is true for the next time it becomes 11 and then it checks that uh, 11 is not greater than 10 so we'll have to discard the case and we'll end the for loop so this is the basic definition of a for loop so uh, we'll just do the same Fibonacci function that we did using the default loop using the while loop now so I'll explain the basic format of the while loop and uh, most of it is it is the same same so just one line will change and we'll see the result we get the same so we just create the function create or replace function Fibonacci that is n integer and it returns <laughs> integer values as uh, declare count integer this is the value of the counter that will maintain inside the for loop and an i that would be the first one the first number or the default number will set into d0 the next number one so we'll just begin with the for loop now so this is a declaration that we did the same in the last tutorial so in this tutorial we'll just concentrate on the one line that is a condition if n is less than one then we just return zero because that's the first number so now we'll execute a loop we'll just write while counter or count is less than n we'll just loop so this is the basic syntax of a while loop in uh, postgresql so we'll just check till our count is less than the number we have input just remember we're doing it less than because we have already declared the first number that is zero and the second as one so we just need to check it for n minus one times that is count is less than n so we'll just loop it here so we'll just increment the count as i told you that it would check the value of count at each and every iteration so we'll just increment the value of count so that uh, the while loop satisfies and checks for each value of count remember if you don't put the statement your loop will go into an infinite loop and that will cause a lot of problems so this is a very important statement uh, in the while loop so the next step would be the same that we did in the last tutorial just copy the values into updating the values of i and j and we just end loop and we return the value of i and the end and the language is PLPG as well. So just run it and see it done successfully. And now go to PG admin, go to function. We have a function that is Fibonacci. We just use the select uh, Fibonacci of uh, suppose we did 5 the last time. We'll just execute the 5 and you see the result is the same that is 5 or 7 i think we got 13 so yeah it is 13 
so guys thank you for this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned in the next tutorial we'll by the for loops and i'll show you how to execute uh, or select a basic table from your database and then execute for loops on them so guys thank you for this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned